So I'm going to explain my scanner situation. Uh, the issue I was having, I bought a, I, I needed to get a second scanner because I thought my old one was failing. And when I got the new one, it was doing the same thing. So I started thinking maybe it was the input on my computer, the audio part. Uh, it's the only, the only real common thing between the two. Uh, now I have a new computer. It didn't make any difference. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, it turns out it was my external antenna. Uh, I bought a, an antenna, a window antenna. And once I started using it, I started picking up the Blythe Fire Department. Um, I, normally, when the dispatchers on that tower or one of them is outputting some kind of transmission, then it's just static. So with when I put this antenna on, all of a sudden I could hear them. So everything was great. Well. Now that I know that the antenna was the problem, I'm not using it anymore. And unfortunately that becomes a problem today because we have another big fire in our area. And coming down the highway here I can see smoke off in the distance. Um, there is some kind of factory type place with smokestacks kind of sort of in that direction. And I got my old scanner with me. I haven't heard anything at all. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is just a farm burning rubbish, which is common. Uh, another thing I'm thinking about is the airport's up there. It's on the right side of the highway, not the left, where the smoke is. So if a plane had crashed, I'm pretty sure I would have heard something by now. Um, the smoke is thick and black, but it's not accumulating, so whatever it is, I'm thinking may have just started. But I'm just, you know, I'm not hearing anything. And that much smoke, you know, that would be a pretty good fire. So if it was anything, and surely by now, uh, somebody would have said something. So I just kind of brush it off. Okay, somebody's just burning something. Controlled burn. I get to the construction site and they're building some kind of foundation. I don't think this is part of the gas station because it's, it's in my opinion, it's too far away from the tanks. So this might be whatever restaurant was supposed to be going in or their plan I'm putting in. <laughs> I still don't know what's going to be there. But as I'm sitting here, I keep looking over at the smoke off in the distance. And I sat here for a good while. And scanner silent, so but it's 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 just got my attention. And then I hear it. Attention North Huron, Wingham Fire, please respond. Uh in the area of Highway eighty six, uh between Blue Vale and Listowel for a report of a lot of black smoke coming from a field. Complainant says it could possibly be on Ramsey Line. Uh, she is calling from Margaret Street in Blue Vale, advising on Highway 86, just outside of Blue Vale on the way to Listwell. She can see a lot of black smoke coming from a field. So that call is definitely for what I'm looking at. Um, I had an issue with this call today and it was kind of the reason why I explained my situation with the, the scanners uh, the portable I have with me I heard everything that was going on <coughs> from the dispatcher and the different fire departments and I was assuming my scanner at home being recorded was hearing the same thing um, 
unfortunately, after the dispatcher made this call, she switched to the Blythe Tower and gave them the information notice, and this is how that sounded to my computer. So, because I'm not using the window antenna, I'm not picking up the call from Blythe. And, well, that's fine, that's just Blythe. Unfortunately, she stayed on that tower for the majority of this call. So, like I said, while I was out, I heard everything that was going on. But, unfortunately, my computer only recorded one side of the conversation. So, later on, at some point, uh, she did switch to... I still got handled on my mind. <laughs> she did switch to the Wingham Tower, and I picked some up later, but that was a ways. And there was a lot of important stuff that was said that just didn't get recorded. So I was really disappointed. But, you know, what can you do, right? I think the problem I have is my scanner is surrounded by computer parts, so I think the signal's kind of being blocked. If I could put it in the window, I would. Unfortunately, the cords aren't long enough, because I've got the, the charger base, which it doesn't need to be on. When I'm, when I'm out, I usually take it off the base anyways, but it's also got the cord uh, that's plugged into it that goes to the computer to record the audio. And there really isn't a whole lot I can do. Uh, I have the radiator right beside my desk. Between there and the window, I can't set it on there because it would melt. <laughs> so, I don't know. But I was actually, I was pretty disappointed in this call anyways. So, I'll play the rest of it. And that's all there will be for this video. So, thanks for watching. If you're interested, you can keep listening. If not, then... You're free to leave. <laughs> so nice of me, right? So, that's it for this video, guys. Back to the monster in the next one.
If uh, I think I need hydro for a disconnect, uh, I've got hydro running right over the barn. All units arriving, uh, pay attention to the hydro lines right over where we're going to be working. Engine 1, copy. North here on fire dispatch, engine 1 call. You can show engine 1 out on scene with 5. Fire dispatch, you can show ladder 2 on scene. Car 3, where do you want ladder 2? Do you want it in front of engine 1? Uh, tanker's blocking you now, get it off the side of the road, I need guys up here. Uh, the house siding's starting to melt. Fire dispatch, short here in command. Dispatch, we do have an exposure. The uh, siding of the of the uh, owner's house is starting to melt. We do have agent applied on that. Power fire call north here. Yeah, what's your ETA, guys? Thank you, command. Yeah, you guys know where you're going, and what's your ETA? Yeah, roger that, Tank 8. Uh, are you coming? You're gonna come through Blue Hill, I assume? Yeah, roger. Just when you come down Ramsey, uh, it's pretty tight with vehicles. Uh, and ladder too, but you can turn around the driveway and dump into the port of tank. Go ahead, uh, dispatch command. Fire dispatch, show tank 9 at scene. Fire dispatch, north here in command. Yeah, you can show OPP on scene as well. Go ahead, Alpha Command. Roger that, just keep an eye on it. Shut down the rear. Go ahead, Bravo, this is Tank 4. All crews, we gotta shut down, we're out of water. Charlie, call command. Yeah, when you come back down with your crew, bring a bike pole to open up these doors. Fire dispatch, north here in command. Go ahead, command. I'm going to require a high hole at this location. Do we have a list of numbers we could call? Roger, I believe there is. Uh, let me have a look. Perfect, thank you. Fire dispatch, north here in command. Go ahead, command. I'm going to require one more tanker from, tanker from Brussels Fire. Roger, you're requesting mutual aid, one tanker from Brussels. At 1643. Rescue 7, go ahead. Roger, Rescue 7, you're on scene at 1645. Go ahead, engine 1, command. Another uh, truck coming out of Brussels. Yeah, Roger, I charge everything up. Command, this golf. Go ahead, Golf Command. You gonna want the blitz off engine six before you come up there? That's no, negative. We're uh, we're actually reducing down inch and a half. We've got multiple uh, tractors and small cars on fire. Command, call Echo. Dispatch to command. Go ahead, dispatch command. Um, just 
Joker contracting is attending with the Hi Ho. Uh, they'll be approximately half hour or less. And uh, Brussels has been contacted with a uh, tanker support, and they should be attending shortly. Yeah, Roger that. Thank you. Car four command. Yeah, I just talked to the owner. The silo is empty. Fire dispatch, start here, command. Go ahead, command. Uh, you can show hydro on scene. Roger, hydro on scene at 1656. Command, golf. Go ahead, golf, command. Yeah, do you know where they wanted this extra inch and a half off in the six? Yeah, that's negative. You might want to meet up with uh, Charlie on the Delta side. This is Command Charlie. What do you need? Roger that. I'm coming that way. Go ahead, engine one. Roger that. Fire dispatch, Command. Go ahead, Command. Yeah, we have EMS on scene now. Roger, EMS on scene at 1706. Fire forward, Command. Command, go. Alpha, go, Command. Yeah, we have hydro disconnected, and uh, they're requesting you cool that pool down so they can take a look. I want you to cool the cool the pole down. Go ahead, engine one command. Fire dispatch, start here, command. Go ahead. Uh, we have jokers on site now with the high hill. Thank you. Uh, Roger, Joker is on site with Hi-Ho at 1722. Hey, go ahead, Charlie. They are on their way as they speak. Command, Golf. Go ahead, Golf, Command. We're going to have the seal squad start on the bottle. Box track comes off. Yeah, we're down in air packs or air bottles, so if they don't have to be on air, just keep them off it. Go ahead, Alpha. Go ahead, Charlie. That's a copy on that. That's our last two firefighters on air. No balls left. Car four, command. Yeah, what's your location? Car four, command. Yeah, when I was talking to the property owner, run it by Stuart. Uh, he was wondering about knocking the silo down too, but it's up to Stuart. Dispatch to North Huron Command. Go ahead, dispatch command. Roger, ambulance has requested your assistance at uh, 203 Mini Street in Wingham for an, a medical assist. Um, I advise them that you are 10-6, but there has been a call created. It's uh, regards to drinking um, unconscious female. Fire dispatch, short here in command. Go ahead, command. Yeah, the EMS unit uh, is actually leaving our scene, and we are going to send our rescue seven to follow along with them to give them help. 
Roger that. MS is leaving the scene and Rescue 7 is responding as well at 1810. Thank you. And uh, if EMS is requesting to send another unit, uh, we, don't need, we don't need any help over here. They're fine to look after their, what they do. That's a roger. Thank you. Hey, well, I have your OPP about the team, though. Roger that. Rescue 7, we're sending Gulf plus 2. Go ahead, Rescue 7. It's 203 Mini between Victoria and John. Rescue 7, call clear. Yeah, that address will be right beside the uh, United Church in Wingham. You can show the patient slowed in the ambulance and in care of EMS. Command 2 will be terminated. We'll head back to the first original scene. Roger that. Patient loaded into EMS. Command terminated. Taken back. To, heading back to scene 1830. Go ahead, engine 1. Actually, yeah, you can shut them all down for now. I'm going to break down. Kenny wants the back ladder 2 in to put some lights up. Pull your crew back for a break. Roger, Rescue 7, you're back at the original scene at 1845. Car 4 here can use 2.5, correct? Yeah, my plan is if we can uh, charge up the aerial with one two and a half, and then uh, just a couple two and a half with the inch and a half. Engine one, command. Uh, can you charge everything except ladder two? Belgrave, so I can nice be delayed know that uh, you guys are back in service. Roger that. He's got all the air bottles with him almost, so you're going to have to send some back with our tanks. Yeah, Roger that, or uh, I'll, I'll run some down. I'm actually going to have the squad stationed down there tomorrow anyway for auto X training. Copy that. We'll take what we can find here, and I'll let you know how many more we need. Roger, thank you. Yeah, down and jump the ladder, please. Negative, everything except the ladder. Golf. 
Go ahead, engine one. Command, can you call Gulf? Uh, you can shut down for now. We're going to reposition things anyway. I'm going to start breaking down the uh, lines on the Charlie Delta side.
dispatch. You can show tank nine uh, releasing the scene, turning the blast station. Tank nine released and returning to Blythe at 204111. Fire dispatch checked uh, tank A returning to blast station. Do that, North Carolina car three, car four, clear returning 204506. Roger. Tank four, clear returning to Wingham station. 2045. 